so I'm trying not to talk too much because it tastes really gross. So remember you're swollen because the numbing cream. Yeah. So we want to go like 20% bigger. Okay. Then, you know, because... 20% is lidocaine, and then yeah. just from being stuck, it like inflames, and this has lidocaine in it too. Okay. So that will kind of be our guide mark. We want to go a little bigger than you, we want them, I want you to look and say, I love them when they go down 20%. Yeah, kind of. okay. That will be our guide. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Tip your glasses up. I have to do my own. I just take them off here. Okay, deeper. Good. Beautiful. Kind of tickles. Okay, tickles good work. <laughs> Makes my eyes water because, a little bit. Yeah, because the Border is sensitive. Mm -hmm. so if you're saying tickle, we're numb enough. Yeah. Okay, when I tell you, I want you to take a deep breath in. Good. And out hard. Hard, 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 hard. So pretty. Oh, that's not bad. If you breathe, it works. Yeah, it, helps. it does for sure. It's the same thing. See how pretty that is? So yeah. It's that height and that light. I like that. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. Deep breath in. Out hard. Hard, 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 hard. Worst part's done. Yeah. That's the prettiest part. See, so just even that, it shortens this distance and that makes a difference. Mm hmm. Now we're going to give a little more plump pie and then we'll plump this. Okay. We'll see what we feel about half. Now we're going to go to the bottom. Two bad sticks on the bottom. Mm -hmm. They're looking good. I'm excited. I'm excited too. We already have a good shape, so this is going to be fun. Okay. Two. Ready? Deep breath. Good. One more. Deep breath. Worst is over there. Okay, good. Mm, that wasn't that bad. See the breathing. <laughs> This isn't bad. Okay, now we're going to just pull it down and make it happy. My eyes are a little blind from the lights because I was staring at the light. Okay, yeah, so just readjust your eyes. And this is half. That's half. They look really pretty. They're pretty, but do we want more? I like your bottom better now. I do too. Because now, like, from the side, we see lip. Mm-hmm. We see pink, you know? Yeah, which is what I wanted. Like, your top's the pretty part because it has the shape. Right. But the bottom needed to support the top. Yes, I think the top was overpowering. The yeah, bottom. like just for your profile, like, proportions. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, they look, like, better, better powdered now. Yeah. Do we want more? Or? I'm afraid if it go when it goes down, I'm going to want to come back. Okay, then we should probably just put more. Yeah. But if you're numb now... 
Where would you add more for the other? Like, where would you add? So the pretty more? parts, of the same kind of thing. Okay. I would put it not no more border. I mean, okay. can't any more border, but like here, you know, kind okay. of the pretty parts of the lip, yeah. the body part. Okay. I mean, I some people I don't let them like if it's a half and it's not going to be enough. I'm just like, no, we have yeah. to do it. You, it's up to you. Like, okay. It it would still be pretty if they went down a little. Yeah. Bit. Now, if we add the other half. For a couple of days, they're going to be a little too big. Yeah. Because you have plants tonight. I don't know. No, I'm staying home all weekend. Um. Can we add the other half? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. If you feel like you like them now, then. Yeah, I do. Then we'll add the other. Because that's, that's what they'll look like. Okay. Will this help? I have like really dry lips. Will this help or no, is it gonna make it worse? No, it will help. Right now it's gonna, the numbing cream and stuff makes it a little worse. So I'll, we'll put stuff on it. But it, this adds hyaluronic. So like okay. hyaluronic's like the, um, the water. water blinding. Okay. So it should help. Yeah, I have At like least make them look cracking. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully when the, now that the cold should be over, hopefully it will be a little better, but... to take out like it's a little, right here is gonna be a bridge. Oh yeah I see that. Okay. Where is it? It's a little swollen. Okay. So this side's gonna look up here yeah. right now a little bigger. Okay. Um but take that out. Look at them as a whole. See kind of where yeah I'm bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like they don't even look crazy. Yeah they don't I would say maybe like here. Yeah, like a on little this, bit. Uh, yeah. Taper it off a little more here. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Natalie and my lips are numb. So, welcome to the intro of this vlog with me talking with my mouth completely numb. If you guys are new, welcome, subscribe, and I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I am an accounting major. I'm getting my master's degree at the moment at University of North Texas. I'm currently stuck in my purse right now. And I am doing my full-time accounting internship right now as well. I am focusing an audit, which is the best way to go. But if you do tax, you know, love you too. Um, and yeah, I would love if you subscribe to the channel. But today is Saturday, March 12th. And I'm going to be kind of just doing a chill vlog at home, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Actually, I might just be vlogging my lip process, to be honest with you. Um... So I just got my lips done for the second time and yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking at them because they're really swollen, like super swollen. But the first time I did my lip filler, that vlog is on my channel as well. And I did Wrestling Kiss for my first time, which was on February 5th. So that was about a month ago. And I didn't really notice a difference with my lips. Obviously, it was my first time getting my lips filled. And it's definitely a process to build your lips where you want them, which can take a while as well. Um, but I only noticed my lips. 
uh, when I put lip liner and like a ton of lip gloss on, but if I didn't have anything on my lips, they were, they kind of just looked the same to me. So I decided I was going to go somewhere different. I did a lot of research again before I went to this, this, um, Renew Beauty Spa and the injector that I saw was super sweet. She knew exactly what she was doing. She's been doing this for 10 plus years and she, she knew what she was doing. Um, her name was Heather. She is an RN. So make sure that you're not going to someone who's not licensed for this because I've, I've seen a lot of people kind of you know, or have heard, I've heard a lot of stories about that. So make sure that they are a registered nurse in case something does go wrong. They know how to handle that situation. Like if a blood vessel pops or something like that, I don't know, worst case scenario, like they know how to handle that situation. So just make sure you do a ton of research, but I'll link her Instagram name in the description bar down below. So this spa is in the North Park Mall in Dallas, Texas, and it's called Renew Beauty Spa. And I will also link the name in the description down below, but her work, Heather's work is amazing. I looked at her Instagram. They have a couple of good RNs over there, but for some reason I just leaned more towards Heather. And also I looked at like experience as well. So she knew what she was doing. Um, this filler that I got was Juvederm Ultra and looks, um, looks really, really good. They are swollen. They're going to go down. So we started with half a syringe just to be safe. And then I liked how they looked and I knew they were going to go down because of the swelling. So I told her if we could do the other half and she, um, she said yes. And we did half, well, whole syringe which is like one milliliter. So, I mean, it's really not a whole lot, but um, the cost of it was a lot cheaper than what I thought it was gonna be. I paid $600 for one syringe of Juvederm Ultra. And I don't think I said this in my last vlog, but the cost of the Wrestling Kiss for a full syringe in my other vlog, I paid seven, 700 or 750 one of those so she did massage my lips so I should not get any lumping uh, there's a lot of you know stories going around that Juvederm causes lumping and whatnot it really depends on your body how your body is going to take the product and all that stuff but she did massage my lips she felt around and I really should not be getting any lumping at all so I'm gonna kind of show you the process of this and she said I will most likely get a bruise right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's turning blue a little bit. So she did give me a ice pack to ice that. She put some Arnica on it. And she really did, she did a good job. Obviously it's swollen here. Like that's gonna go down for sure. But I wanted to keep my Cupid's bow. I love my Cupid's bow and how crisp it looks. So she kept that for me. We did put more in the bottom lip because before my top lip was kind of overpowering my bottom lip but now it's it's pretty even I got a nice pout going on I'm still numb so excuse the way I'm talking but I'm gonna head home now and kind of just chill and I'll show you the process as I heal how my bruising is like I did in my last lip filler vlog and I did, at first, when she started poking me, I did feel a little bit, but it was more of like a tickle. The pain level, I would say, was probably like a three, to be honest. Like, you could feel the needle going in, but it wasn't like, oh my gosh, this is so painful. It was like a tickle painful for me to where like my eyes were kind of going to water or it felt like I was going to sneeze. It wasn't anything bad. But again, depending on where you go, how high grade their numbing cream is, is going to depend on, you know, also your pain tolerance is going to de depend on how painful the procedure is going to be for you. So my pain tolerance, I feel like, I feel like it's like average. Um, I don't have any tattoos, so I don't know what that feels like, but I do have a couple piercings. 
So I feel like, you know, my pain tolerance is pretty average. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But I'm gonna head home now and I'll update you guys probably towards the evening. They're gonna get really swollen, so love that. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, it is a lot later in the day and my lips are super swollen. They are also very sore tonight. Um, this is what they look like. I have quite a bit of bruising this time and a lot of swelling as well. Um, it's 11 o'clock at night, so I got my lips done at 11.30 or like 11 this morning. So they are going to swell up probably until like day four. And then after that, the swelling will go down. But this is what they look like as of now. A lot fuller. And definitely a lot of swelling. And like I said, they are pretty sore and they feel really full as well. Hi guys, it is now day two. Today is Sunday, got my lips done yesterday, which was Saturday the 12th, today's the 13th. Um, as you can see, they are still swollen. I got some bruising going on and they feel really full when I go like this. Also, they are a little bit sore. Last night they were sore, especially when I like try and brush my teeth and rinse my mouth. It kind of hurts to like expand my lips and like blow them up um, when I'm rinsing my mouth but I have not taken like any pain medication or anything because I was told not to just because it could make I guess the bruising worse I don't know um so I have been pretty good I I'm like obsessed with them they look great she did an amazing job and can't wait to see what they look like after the swelling goes down but so far they look really good it is now day three of my lips at the moment as you can see i do have a pretty good size bruising right here on the right side of my top lip um and then obviously small little bruisings from where the needle was inserted like right here right here here and then down here um Still a little bit of swelling, but pretty much the same as yesterday, I would say. Um, as far as soreness, my lips aren't as sore as day one and two. The soreness has gone down a little bit, I would say. Um, for soreness, like on a scale of one to ten, I'm kind of scared to like put a ton of pressure on them just because they're so fresh. But right now they're really not as sore as day one and two um i'm not drinking from a straw i'm not drinking alcohol probably for the next week like i did last time but i am drinking coffee um today i did drink coffee because today's monday and i went to work obviously i put concealer on my lips this morning and put a crap ton of lipstick on to cover the bruising um but I just took off like all my lip products. You guys can see exactly how the bruising looks on day three. Hi guys, it is day four now on my lips and I'm currently getting ready for work. So I figured before I put like concealer on and lipstick on and everything, I can show you what they currently look like so far. They're healing still really well, obviously still some bruising still going on um the bruising is starting to slowly kind of fade like this is a lot lighter than what it was but overall they look really great i think the swelling has gone down by now not sure i'm sure there's like still a tiny bit of swelling um, hopefully by the end of the week, the bruising will be completely gone. Today is day five. This is what my lips currently look like. Um, definitely the bruise has faded tremendously. It's just like kind of pink 
now compared to what it was <laughs> earlier in the week it was like dark blue um, down here the needle pricks you can still kind of see other than that I think the swelling has gone down a lot and they look great here's the side side view they look plump and I love it also I have been using a new product I got from Mac um, I don't know if you remember from my previous lip filler vlog with the wrestling kiss product but my lips were super cracked I mean you guys they were really really bad but I've tried Carmex I've tried like Burt's Bees I've tried lip uh, the Aquaphor lip treatment I've tried a lot of different chapsticks nothing worked um, even exfoliating my lips didn't work either and the other day I was in Mac which is uh, literally like right by my work and so I kind of popped in there and they had a lip treatment that I used two nights in a row and I kid you not it is amazing my lips aren't cracked as you can see they're nice moisturized and they just look really good so I'll try and find the lip treatment product um, online and link it in the description box down below because it's amazing and totally worth it and I just put it on before I go to bed in the morning my lips are like super soft works way better than the the Laneige lip mask and all the other products out there at least for me it worked the best okay guys so this is what my lips currently look like with lipstick on and lip liner they look amazing and just wanted to show you what they look like you know with lipstick on and everything um obviously they are a little bit emphasized because i'm wearing lipstick but they look really good especially the side as well i feel like with my nose it kind of matches now whereas before it was like that i don't know if you guys can see what i'm saying i feel like it kind of matches how far out my face goes in a way but this is what they look like. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just like cotton. But I'm wearing the NYX lip liner in natural and then the MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick for those of you that are wondering what lip combo I'm wearing. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was super helpful for you. And for those of you that are maybe thinking about getting lip filler, don't really know what kind of lip filler you want. So... I've done Wrestling Kiss and I've done Juvederm Ultra and hopefully those two videos will kind of help you determine what look you're going for. Obviously, make sure you ask whoever is doing your lips what they think you would need for your lips as well and just kind of figured I would show you my experience and the healing process and everything like that, but I will definitely be going back to the same girl that I just saw in the future. She did amazing. And I really prefer the Juvederm Ultra as of like now more than I do the Wrestling Kiss because I just feel like it is more of um, a bigger molecule and it just might hold better with my body personally. But Anyways, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys enjoy, and I think they look great. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Be nice. Everyone has their own opinion on lip filler, and you know what? This is what I wanted, and I got it done. So, hope you guys enjoyed it again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.